now show you a YouTube video on a few proprioceptive exercises. So basically when you are doing proprioceptive exercises, you have to either put a lot of weight onto the joint or you have to do bouncy actions or you have to do sudden change in motions. And those three things would challenge your proprioception. The agility, the balance, as well as the stability and the joint awareness. So we are now going to show you a few exercises on proprioception of the upper quadrant or the arms and also of the legs. Thank you. The exercise we are going to show is the plank. So you need to come onto your elbows and this is going to then curl your toes and then lift your thigh up and then lift your entire body off the floor into a plank position. Hold it for as long as you can, about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 40 seconds. Now here we have a good engage of the scapula on the chest. Rest down again Vishaka and you can do it once more. And it gives you a nice stability of the scapula along with a joint awareness of the elbows, shoulders, the feet and the whole body awareness of the joints. So plank is a good one. Now the next exercise is push up and push up taps. So here we are going to come onto the push up position. Yep. And Vishaka is going to do it on the knees and that's absolutely fine. If you can do a full push up, you can do it in the full push up position. Yes, and now we are going to do some push up taps. So tap. Now when you are doing these taps, the thing that needs to be aware of is that your shoulder blades should be nice and stable. Your elbows should be nice and straight and not hyper extended. And we do not want the trunk to drop or rotate. You can then increase the speed and do it a little bit faster. And if possible, you can even do a clap if possible. Okay. The next in the same position, we take a ball underneath one of the hands. And here we are going to do a ball slide. When you are doing the slide, we don't want the trunk to drop. We want the trunk to be nice and lifted. We want the shoulder blade of the left hand to be nice and stable. Bring the ball inwards more towards you. And now take it away. And then bringing it closer again. And then taking it away. And bringing it closer. So that's roughly around, keep doing it Vishaka. We need about 7 or 8 reps of this. Okay. She can now rest down, rest down. And do the same exercise under the left hand. So the left hand goes forward and back, back. Take it right up to your chest, very good, and back. And you can see that when she's doing this, her right shoulder is nice and stable. There is no trunk rotation or drop of the trunk. And everything is well controlled. Her core is engaged. And we are getting a good proprioception of the entire hand of the right side. This exercise is the punching exercise uh, which will work on the agility as well as the stability. So we take a TheraBand, usually a blue TheraBand is good enough for this but if you find that hard you can take a uh, green one and place it behind your back and then hold the two ends of the TheraBand. Now what we are going to do here is, yes, a one hand punch action. So punch and bend and the other arm punch and bend. So it's a nice punching action. Again, we can increase the speed here and we can do about 10 of those. Yes, good control. We are getting control of the stomach as well as the control of the spine, the head. We don't want the shoulders to shrug, okay? And then we can do some pulses where we straighten and just push more forward, push more forward pulses and back. And then the other side, about six pulses on each side. And then do the right side again. And then the left side again. Now to continue with the upper arm proprioception, we are going to introduce the concept of perturbation which is challenging the stability of the joint while in far away challenging the stability by moving an object so we use a flexi bar in this case which is a nice rubber bar uh, and is very helpful in this uh, exercise 
so we take the shoulders initially into a 90 degrees flexion forward and the elbow at 90 degrees now we fix this position of the arm and keeping this position fixed of the arm we are now doing a shaking of the um, bar forward and backward like she's doing so she can do about 10 repetitions forward and backward and then sideways from left to right left to right about 10 repetitions and she needs to control her elbow coming up make the elbow come up again it's dropped down yeah so you need to control the position of the arm while she's doing this exercise she can then convert this exercise by taking the elbow stop please and now take the elbow sideways so you are at a stop sign angle with the elbow sideways and um, the arms at 90 degrees still and this time we are again doing the perturbation of shaking front back front back again you can see the control that is needed by the elbow shoulder scapula neck core is pretty high if you do this in a standing or a one leg position the core would be more challenging if you do it now you can go side to side in the same exercise if you would do it in standing and if you wanted to make the core still easier you could do it more in a lying down position and do the same exercises in a lying down position too if it is somebody who has just been operated for their shoulders and so on this exercise is more for a strength along with the stability so you are actually taking the hands holding the flexi bar and kind of rinsing it, the flexi bar this works on the strength of the elbow as well as stability of the shoulder the forearm strength and stability of the wrist so we are working on strength as well as the stability of the muscles so you can do about 10 or 15 reps of this i'm going to show you a few exercises on what is called as the bozu ball or a semicircle ball you can also do it on a foam disc or a wobble disc or a wobble board anything that makes your surface a little bit in, um, unstable what we want to now do on this is first just try and balance ourselves so we are just balancing on the unsurf on the unstable surface and then we can try doing something like marching on it so doing marching yes that's good then we can do a few squats on it okay so we've got a few squats and down is it going dying? And that's good and keeping the form here we are challenging the stability of the knee as well as the stability of the pelvis and the hip okay so you can go down now and hold it for five seconds and then come up again and go down again and hold it for five seconds and come up and that's excellent okay now the next exercise we can do on this is a one leg stance so you're just balancing yourself on one leg and with the one leg balance now we can challenge her stability by incorporating the upper arms also so she can now lift the upper arms into a straight arm yes go up and back again okay so she needs to practice that but that's a good practice for stability yes and come down and up and down and balance on one leg and down okay we can also challenge the stability by doing things like catch and throw so we can have somebody standing on this ball stabilizing we have somebody to throw the ball and catch throw and yes and throw and this can be done in different angles also you can throw a little low you can throw a little low and catch a little low low so you are getting the squat plus the balance plus the catch and throw is also engaging and working on your stability and agility of your shoulders and your elbows also now a little bit high stand up tall and throw from high overhead little bit more overhead 
over a throw that's better and throw so she's still on the bozu ball and she's throwing so we have got three areas of stability that we are working on further to improve the agility of the lower and not just the balance improve the agility of the lower limb and to work on the ankle stability knee stability as well as the hip while we control our spine so hopping is a good exercise on that but especially hopping onto a rubber surface which is going to give you a bounce like a trampoline or a bozu ball would be much more effective what we're going to do is we are going to hop onto the bozu ball we are going to wait there and hop off so that way we are improving the balance as well as the agility so hop onto the bozu ball and then hop ahead keep doing that please so we do about 5 or 6 of these yes she needed to do that double jump for a balance that's okay that's good and keep doing it and now what we can do is to improve the agility we can go faster where we just hop on and hop off quickly yes so you just hop on and you don't wait you hop on and hop off you are not actually landing on the bozu ball we are just hopping on and hopping off very good vishaka keep doing a few more brilliant a couple more and you can see the shock absorption properties of the knees as well as the hips improves and the control of the spine is also improved you will be surprised how much core you actually need when you are doing all these things piece of equipment the next piece of equipment we are using is the wob uh, wobble board it's a wooden board with a round tiny base at the bottom so what we have to do is get on to the board carefully and then first thing you do is just balance your center balance the center and try and control now again in this you can add some perturbations like throw and catch or moving your arms so taking them sideways and back and you can just move one arm so that way the balance shifts to one joint and the other side okay and then we can just move the bottle bubble board so we are actually moving the wobble board forward and backward and forward and backward and then sideways and to the left right to the left to the right to the left to the right again forward a few forwards and a few backwards so all this keep doing all this is improving the stability and the proprioception of the ankle joint so this is very good to do after an ankle injury uh or and surgery or somewhere where the ankle is now unstable because it has had a few sprains sideways again a few right left sorry left, right left right and again you are seeing even the hips come into play but this is more for the ankle sideways movement and this helps in prevention of future ankle sprains what we also can do on this is then a more functional program so you stabilize yourself in the center of the wobble board as stable as you can and then we do some squats on it so we balance and we do squats this is pretty hard it looks very easy but it is not very easy okay with practice it is quite doable yes and what you are looking here is you can squat and hold the squat a little bit vishaka and what you are looking at is a nice stability of the ankle as well as the knee and going down again and hold and up again again the spine control the core control uh, with the arms coming into play we've got scapula working so you've got a full body functional workout in this in terms of joint space joint position and proprioception